Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and a Lassa battle update. So um, we want to get started on the battle report for Lassa uh, scenario campaign. Um, what I've done is I was planning on doing a whole elaborate video for all this, but I, I ran I, so much work going on this week and other things that have been happening in my life. I just haven't been able to do it. So uh, I did want to get started on time. So what I did is I put together a quick uh, overview of the sit rep for this campaign. Uh, the rules that are going to go along with it and I spelled it all out in a channel here on the discord So if you go to the last of rules and sit wrap right here now I don't think you'll be able to post in this channel and at least I hope you can't because this is just a, um, a Resource only channel, so I think I set it up correctly so that nobody can post here So please don't post here. Or I'll just have to remove it um, This is just straight up info for people to understand what's going on with the scenario I'm not going to go through all, all of it. I'll let you go through it on your own um but it basically gives the backstory to this and why we're, uh, as a group, going to be attacking Lhasa. Um, then it goes through, there's four different sectors and explains what each sector is and why it's important and kind of what's going on in each sector and what you may want to look at doing um, because each one is kind of important to the mission. Um, and then after that, I've got the rules spelled out. So how movement's going to happen, attacking, defending, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to be moving, then the enemy's going to be moving. Um, things you should watch out for. We can discuss all this before we start. Um, then I've also kind of went down and just show you what all the icons are for all the different forces that I talk about up here in the rules. Um, so we've got um, fixed emplacements, which are like turrets and stuff for this. Uh, mobile forces, so like mech units that are moving around that look like this. Um, fixed skull mobile units that are like this, so this could be a three skull unit that you have to fight a three skull battle for. Um, and so on, convoys, the different versions of the convoys. Uh, and then this is sort of a skull rating here, so 15.5 seems like a lot. Um, but these are mobile units that are all stacked in one hex. So there's 15.5 skulls of units, and they could break apart and chase you guys down. So this might break apart to like three three skull units, you know, a two and a half skull and a couple two skull units or something like that, right? It could break apart to chase people down or tr try and surround you, things like that. Uh, and when attacking it, um, you can choose how much of this you want to attack. So you can say, oh, I'm going to attack these guys, but I'm only going to attack two skulls worth and attack two skulls. But anyway, you can read through all the information here and it basic, basically explains how we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to do another video or at least more information to just to kind of give an example how the turns will happen and what we'll, what we'll do just so everybody's clear about movement and placement and what, what you're going to be reporting for each turn and things like that uh, because there's going to be a turn for you and then a second half of there's two phases to the turn first phase is your movement second half is the enemy's movement so you'll get to do your attacks and stuff and then the enemies will get to do theirs which you'll probably be doing like another battle for so there might be a couple of battles for each pe person doing it during a week at least that way it'll keep it moving rather than just doing one one battle only for the week it'll give you a chance to do a couple back and forth in a turn so it'll it'll pick up the pace a little bit i think um then i go on to explain about supply uh, and why it's important um i think in order to, to try and get um a little more realism in this like in the back of my head what i want to do is once this campaign, once we figure out if this is working, like all the systems that I have in place here, once we figure out all this is working, then if you guys want to get into like complete and total realism or more realistic in a way, um, we can go ahead and do that based, like we'll use this as a, these rules here as a base and then uh, moving forward, we can expand on them so that it's like, you know, you can't repair your armor after battle. Um, you know, you can't repair your internal structure. Obviously, you can't replace weapons after battle. Like, things like that. We can make it really in-depth if you want to go that route. Or if you don't, if you just want to keep it light and fun, I'm fine with that too. These are just, like, loose rules here that I think um, to test out supply. If we find after the first few turns that everybody's hating it and we don't want to go with it, I can we can swap it out. That's fine too. But I thought this would add, the supply idea adds a little bit of realism. Um, and it really isn't that much of a big deal. Like I would never hang anybody out to dry. Like if you can't make a financial report and you need to jack up your salvage for, for a mission, I, I'm not going to like say no. Like it's just ridiculous, right? Or if you need to run an off off um, campaign mission to make your financial report, as long as you sell everything, I, I don't care. You know what I mean? It's just, but I think there's enough opportunity in here that you won't have to worry about 
not making financial reports and stuff. I think it's I think it's going to be plenty fine. Anyway, then I go on to just describe there's going to be a uh, battalion HQ and a battalion supply company that are going to be dropped in with you guys. You guys can determine where they start. Uh, any any unit that starts within three hexes or was within three hexes of these units is considered in in supply. So everyone drops in out of supply because you're behind it, basically behind enemy lines. But if you're within three hexes of one of these two units, you're considered in supply. So the map's pretty big. You got to figure out where these guys are going to go and who's going to be in supply and who's not. Um, there's four sectors and only two 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 uh, units here to keep you in supply. So you got to figure that out. And also too, they can be threatened by the enemy. So if you know you miss a unit and a three skull unit makes it around, attacks a battalion HQ, could be in a lot of trouble if they wipe out the battalion HQ. That's all I'm saying. So you're gonna have to keep them protected as well. Uh, they can protect themselves. I mean, they're, they're two half decent units. Like you know, they can easily handle two skull battles. I think, but three three skulls might might push it. I don't know. Um, and then at the end, I'm just asking everybody to head over to the last of planning channel, and then. What I want you guys to do is do your talking on this channel here um, and figure out, you know, who's going to go where. Um, it's going to, the coordination I think is going to be a big deal. And then you're just going to report, you know, where you're going to drop and explain how to do that real quick. So you just, like if everybody figures out who's going to attack what target, you know, you could just say that here, yeah, so-and-so is going to start off at I-1, you know what you would do is just follow what I've I've written down here where you just basically type in um, your unit name right I'm gonna see who it is that's reporting so I'll know who's there but just your unit name you know what sector it is so orange sector red sector blue or green sector and then the hex number right k1 t k2 and um, I describe here how to, to get the hex number but it's relatively I mean if you've ever played on a map board you kind of know this already but um, so yeah you just kind of go along to your letter and the letter corresponds to each one of these rows of hexes so the letter like you know like I said K2 would be right here right so don't worry if these aren't numbers aren't in incremental um, it's just because the way I was able to lay the map out I couldn't get any any more than I think it was 10 per um, hex grid that I had I had to use multiple mul multiples of the same um, so I just went this route. It was just a, kind of the cheap and easy route. So it doesn't really matter what the number is. Uh, just, you know, K2 would be here. You know, M2 would be there. O2 would be there. You just choose where you want to go, um, where you want to land and where you want to start. Um, also, too, you'll notice there's no numbers on these to start. And it's because your intelligence doesn't know. They know there's units here, but they don't know how strong they are. So I know how, I know how strong they are. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Uh, there's also hidden units here, too, that you can't see. Uh, because the operatives weren't able to, to find out where they are. So on each of these maps, you know, you have a rough idea of what's there, but you don't know where everybody is. So, you know, you may want to drop here, but then there could be units here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, or you could be surrounded by units. Um, so, you know, grouping up, um, working together as teams is, is important. Um, this gun battery is a nasty surprise for any dropships that want to try and land here. After you guys initially land, that uh, battery becomes active. It's a naval gun battery, so your dropships aren't necessarily going to be able to pick you up unless a few conditions are met. So anyway, um, yeah, but go through, read everything. It explains the entire scenario. If there's anything that's unclear, throw it in the last of planning. I'll be looking in there um, or just send me a, um, a direct message um, and I'll get it. And... Um, I'll read it. I'll make sure I clarify stuff uh, if we need to clarify as we're going along. But um, yeah, just uh, start filling in the, the data here. And, um, you know, hopefully everybody can at least take a look this weekend and figure out what they want to do. Hopefully by next, um, well, you know, if we can get started in the middle of the week next week, that's great. But if not, we can push it to Friday and we can figure out, you know, how we're going to start and when we're going to start. We'll just we'll just go when we're ready and then we'll set up the turns and we'll just we'll just do it. Yeah, see. We've already got Jake posting here. So that's fantastic. All right. So I am going to end this. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to him after this. You know, he may want, he may want to talk to the rest of his team. But um, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave this, episode, I'll leave this, this video here. Um, please jump onto the Discord and, and make your comments and uh, get ready for the fight. All right. Talk to you all later.